And you have a master's and a PhD, correct? From Wayne yes. State? Yes. It's a, the master's is in what degree? Uh, my education is a little bit messy, you know? So I'm from physics. I went to industrial engineering, right? Okay. So my, 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 my master was in industrial engineering. Uh, but I feel like it's not mathematical enough. So I need uh, somewhat more technical. So when I did PhD, I make a detour. I went to, uh, into, uh, into double E, okay? And because the, uh, the double E at that time at Wayne State is this side of the building uh, is industrial engineering faculty. Just across the aisle is electrical engineering faculty, right? So, okay, <laughs> I wanna do a, I do more math, so so that's what I ended up with. And my PhD is kind of like I have a uh, uh, my main uh, advisor is from from electrical engineering at that time. Okay, so you have basically the perfect quant background because everybody always asks me. They say, Dimitri, what's the path to being a quant? And I always <laughs> tell them the best quants come from the most random areas. They always oh, it's very random. Yeah, I mean I've seen. So you look at like um, Emmanuel Derman was in physics. And if you read his book, he talks about, you know, he couldn't find a job and he wanted to be a physicist at a university. Mm. And then, of course, his wife is doing amazing things in academia and she's employed. And yep. then eventually he gives up and just goes into finance. Yeah. And then I've had other, other colleagues similar. They start out in like forestry or something and then they deviate through time and they end up in finance again. And yep. I, think, I think the best quants always have kind of that kind of that detour path we've been talking about. They bounce from one area to another area.